<laughs> it's Friday. That marks the end of the first week for the Cold Quest. So a lot of has happened. Uh, planning has been done. A lot of uh, work has been done preparing what's going to be the work for the next few weeks. But the biggest change is that now we have our own keys. So we can finally not get locked out of this shady door. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, all the way up. Groceries. Scott, what do I have? What? Yeah! Why are you spoiling us so badly? And so this makes it look like we are actually eating ice cream every day, but it's it's only been two days so far. Um, in five days, so okay, that that's a lot. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's all healthy stuff. Besides all the ice cream eating, developers have been really hard at work. All these meetings are paying off because now there's documents that being written based on these meetings and more talking and more discussing. So everything is now is much more clear. So Blender 2.8 is not only about adding new stuff. It's also about cleaning it up and getting it ready for the next decade or so. That's why also Blender now requires a higher version of OpenGL to work properly so you can take advantage of all the new hardware or why older parts of Blender that are not maintained anymore, such as Blender Internal or the game engine, have to be replaced with something much better and newer. So following the tradition of the open movie projects where we'll, on Fridays at 6 we will get together and we'll show, maybe make a little presentation to the team just to keep everyone on track about what's going on and what's the status of the project. So for the Code Quest we plan on doing the same. But instead of starting at 6, we started at 4 because you know, presentations will get a bit longer. That was a great idea because it actually took us two hours. There was a short presentation for each one of the main topics of the Code Quest. Uh, every topic on this list has at least one or two major UI tasks like um, Workspace, the, the top bar, for example, that requires a design or the new tool system also requires a design and don't even talk about the asset management that it needs like a whole new editor, basically. But there are also other things that we could do to make Blender better, Blender 2.8, especially better, more appealing, more accessible. And this, we decided to, together with Willem to add it as a new topic and we call it like graphic design or layout or ways of making Blender more delicious, or how they say it in Dutch, lecker. <laughs> so we call it the lecker blender. Lecker blender. Yeah, like a blender. <laughs> we plan on releasing this document on the developer.blender.org site and maybe make like design tasks for more of the specific topics themselves. So people and the community can get, give more feedback and maybe other developers than just the core can maybe tackle them because mm, some of them, uh, the tweaks are rather small, but they will make a big difference. So during these videos, you're going to usually see the same people and you'll see them a lot for at least three months. So it's why not get to, to know them? So I went to each one of them and I asked them, who are you and, and what's your role in the code quest? What's your role? So if you don't know Brecht, you've been living under a rock. He's been involved with Blender since forever. Uh, during Big Bug Bunny, he was working already on the heavy render stuff and memory efficiency. And in Sintel, he also worked in the render branch just to, to make the Blender internal support <laughs> radiance caching and like the whole illumination which is what later made him make cycles. So yeah, with all that experience, it's a key player in the Cold Quest. That's uh, relaxing. <laughs> what's your name or what's your role in the Cold Quest? So I'm Bastien Montagne and I'm uh, I will be a developer, mostly working on the data management right side. So mostly static overrides, which are doomed to replace boxes. Yeah. And then hopefully uh, asset, at least on the design, get a final design, UI design. For the assets, asset manager. Asset management system. Bastian has touched uh, every area in Blender in the last few years, but is now focused more on the asset management and static overrides to replace the old ugly 
proxy system in Blender. So very excited about that. Speaking of touching every area in Blender, there is Campbell. Hi, I'm Campbell and I'm working on a user interface, the tool system, widgets, um, sort of the top bar and how that all fits together. I'm working with William on that. And I'm also doing some stuff with multi objects in edit mode and pose mode and uh, that stuff as well. He's been involved also in open movie projects since Big Bug Bunny. So uh, my name is Kemo Foucault and I'm basically uh, doing a so the audio is a bit crappy here, there's a lot of people in the room there, it was right after the weekly, but he's Clement, he's the man behind Eevee and helping out with the Workbench engine and OpenGL and everything viewport related basically. That's a boss chair. I think you're taking the, the project manager role a bit too. <laughs> Are you gonna get fired, man? You're gonna be deported, deported back to Brazil. <laughs> right. So, uh, what's your name and what you're doing here in the Code Quest? My name is Dalai, and I'm uh, working help. I don't even know if it's there's a there's a title to it, but uh, working coordinating, uh, managing the project. You yeah. can say that project uh, manager. Project manager. So let's do it again. Hi, I'm Dalai. <laughs> <laughs> So basically, you take care that everything stays together. Yeah, help to keep everyone on track, make sure uh, we keep the same big picture uh, in line, in, on mind for everything we do, make sure we communicate well for the other developers that are not here, for the people at home, people that helped, uh, you know, found the... The project, yeah. yeah, community. Awesome. Thank you very much. It's office suits you really well, by the way. <laughs> Okay, what's your name and what are you doing for the Code Quest? Hi, I'm Jorun uh, and I'm working on Workbench. Jorun's also been around for a while now. It's mainly working on the uh, compositor back in the days and now he's focused on the Workbench engine. Who are you and what is your role on the Code Quest? Hello, I'm Joshua. Um, yeah, I'm the animation system developer and yeah, it's uh, <laughs> yeah. exciting to be here in Amsterdam. Yeah, so what's your role on the Code Quest? What do you think you're going to be working on more? Yeah, so, so this week I've been involved in heaps and heaps of meetings. Yeah. That, you know, Joshua, he's known online as Allegorith and it's the first time in Europe, so so good to, to finally meet him. He's been involved with Blender since forever. He worked in the animation system. He's the original creator of the Grease Pencil tool back in the days. So it's in so many areas that it's so nice to finally see him, meet him in person. Really happy that he's around here for the Cold Quest. So, uh, what's your name and what's your role in the Cold Quest? I'm Julian. I'm uh, just here for two weeks and uh, basically he's working on all kinds of UI stuff. Julian has been involved in the UI mainly. Um, he has a project for build widgets for the for the widget for manipulators, but also in the node editor, for example, when you have two nodes and then you add a third node in between them, that they make room for them. They are animated. That's also by Julian. It's pretty nice. So he's here for only a couple of weeks, but then he will continue working remotely. There, I'm gonna pretend to be your height. <laughs> <laughs> So, who are you and what's your role in the Cold Quest? Hi, I'm Sibrin and I, my role, yeah, is uh, <laughs> Lembic and file caches and physics and fracture modifier and cloud add -on asset manager. Asset yeah. manager. Uh, so, I'm helping Bastian with a, a concrete example for the asset manager, the asset engine. The asset engine, the asset manager, but remote. Yes. Awesome. So connecting to the cloud and doing multi-threaded stuff and changing the way we do things internally. It's not just a copy-paste of the existing uh, Blender Cloud add-on, but it's actually doing things better, basically. With <laughs> more insight in what we did wrong in the past, you can always do it better. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Hope to see you more, more of you in the future. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. And you're the door. Who are you and what's your role in the Code Quest? My name is William and uh, in the Code Quest I am the designator user interface designer. William Rainish, our UI user experience designer. So he's been also involved as an artist back in Big Bunny and Sintel. 
but also he's been a key part for the 2.8 project design and he even made some mockups back in 2003 about the Blender UI back then and some of the his changes you can see them currently in Blender. So he's full time working on UI design and experience super important to have him here and he's talking with every developer to make sure that the UI is consistent all over the board. I guess I should introduce myself as well. I, my name is Paulo Vasquez. I've been involved in open movie projects in the past for already last 10 years, an open game even. And in the code quest, I will be doing this, communicating with the community and also working as a feedback mainly and designing user interface and user experience together with Willem. And you may have heard of these two guys over here. In the code quest. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tom Rosendahl. And I'm taking care of the lunch. <laughs> Tony's taking care of everyone here, including Blender itself. He has the vision of what Blender should be since 20, 25 years ago, and it's still valid. And it's a very clear vision of where should Blender should go. So I'm really happy to see him here full time together with the developers working in the code Quest and Blender 2.8. And secretly thinking about Blender 3.0 and the Animation 2020 project. And Sergey, <laughs> our very own Russian doctor, he's the best. So, what's, uh, well, yeah, who are you and what's your role in the Code Quest? I'm Sergey, I'm senior software janitor. Okay. <laughs> making sure there is no trash behind Blender. Yeah, relationships, I guess, too. Yeah, fixing all, fixing all the relations and. Motion tracking, cycles, compositor. You name it, he's, he's done it and now he's taking on the most difficult parts in Blender, to my knowledge, is the dependency graph. That's what he means by fixing relations. Is uh, Yeah, it's dependency graph. It's the heart of Blender. It's a connection between everything, every tool, every animation. It's everything, everything. Good. Great teacher, by the way. Yeah. Awesome. I heard that movie is great. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So, pretty exciting times ahead. Next week, we'll see a week's worth of meetings down into documents I'm going to share with the community and with the developers online just to see what's going to happen during the code quest and how it's going to happen. So, stay tuned, subscribe to this channel if you want to see more, follow us on social media as well, uh, we are all over the place, and... Give it a like if you want to see more of this kind of content. It's uh, the first time that we're doing this kind of format. So uh, le let me know if, if it works, if it's a nice way to communicate. I promise there will be more pretty pictures coming soon with more mockups. But uh, now it's the first week. We're still uh, planning and setting up everything. So yes, thank you everyone for the support in the previous video. I'm very really glad you liked it. And uh, yeah, see you next week. And uh, there will be a live stream on Friday next week. So stay tuned for that. Uh, will be a Q&A mainly, but uh, more information soon. See ya. What? Are you announcing already Cold Quest 2028? Yeah, wow. <laughs>